So I've been here today talking to traders from Greenwich Market uh, following the absolutely despicable decision by Greenwich Hospital Estates to charge people more uh, rent during COVID. And I'm extremely concerned as the leader of the council that something which is at the very heart of our tourist offer, a market that has visitors exceeding 4 million a year, would be treated in this way. Greenwich Market is the only market in London who've been offered no rent concessions. My question to the landlord is why? They actually increased our rents by uh, 60% and uh, they were expecting us to pay £500 a week for trading for two days. Not only are we trying to recover from Covid situation, we're also now operating under a shroud of scaffolding. Business has been down about 80% from its usual turnover. People have received no support, no rent reduction at all for their shops during this incredibly challenging time. What we've also seen is food stores having absolutely astonishing rent raises at a time when people simply aren't coming. You know, we have to pay staff, we have to buy ingredients, cost delivery, you know, and um, it's not been enough for it to sustain us as businesses. So today I'm being really clear, but Greenwich Hospital Estates have to do more. This is a multi-million pound organisation. I know as the leader of the council that the Greenwich Estate is absolutely crucial to their business model. And what I need Greenwich Hospital Estates to be doing is in good times as well as bad times, supporting these businesses, these independent traders through this difficult period. The Greenwich market is formed of small businesses where food traders, art and arts and crafts traders and little shops. We're all in the same uh, boat and a lot of people are on really thin ice on whether they can make it to the end of the year. So today I'm here to give Greenwich Hospital Estates and Knight Frank notice, but I'm calling a public meeting for traders and for the estate agents to come together and be clear about the level of support that's being provided by them to independent traders, people who need them to act so that this market can survive.